What is up, guys, and welcome back to another Subnautica video. Um, this is going to be a little different than the most recent ones, uh, but it is still filled with some pretty cool information. Uh, I do want to say thank you to everybody who has joined the channel. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, the channel has pretty much tripled um, the amount of people we have on it, so... Thank you to all of you who have joined. So the first thing uh, I want to go over is the artifact here. Uh, when I originally did the video, the artifact was not in here. And from my speculation, what I think it's for, um, Sans kind of or did uh, confirm this, but we don't know if this is exactly it. Um, you have to pick up a key... For the Sea Emperor's um, egg incubator, I think it is, or it might be the prison. You have to pick up the key for it in the Degasi bases, which my assumption is this artifact right here. And this artifact uh, is the artifact I was talking about in the concept art for the incubation of the eggs. Um, the square artifact thing there. So that is, um, I just want to show you guys that in game because. It was not in here when we did the video. So, uh, the next thing is the precursor bases. All of them are gone. Uh, they are no longer in the game. So, my assumption is that they are working on them to finish the rest. Um, they did just release a sketch fab of some of the terminals and whatnot so we will be checking that out and um they have kind of announced the next update it's called dangerous creatures so my assumption is we won't have anything visibly updated in the game until that comes out so i'm doing this video just to pretty much show what's going on behind the scenes that's not in the game. So, um, the first stop, I believe, will be... Well, I'll show you the clips of the precursor bases. It'll be, like, five-second clips each, just to show that they aren't in the game. And they did add new music in by the Lost Cove Tree and the Fire Inactive uh, Lava Zone. So... Um, I will also have a small clip in between this and Trello, so I will see you guys at Trello. All right, guys, so our first stop is actually going to be Sketchfab. So these are the terminals I was talking about. Um, so they, I don't know where these are going. Um, honestly, this one looks like it should be like those uh, square pedestals that were in the bases. However, it could also, it kind of looks like it might contain maybe like specimens of different uh, fish or eggs of different fish. Maybe those will be like glass and then that's the container holding them. This looks like a data screen or something. Um, and then this actually looks like something that might be used to maybe like construct the cure from the eggs or something like that or to examine it. I'm not really sure. And then this thing um, kind of looks like a giant 
scientific table, um, because from the model here of us, it looks pretty huge, so I don't know what we would use that for, so I don't, I doubt that wouldn't, at least this one would be interactive, um, so, uh, yeah, I don't, even the precursors, like, I mean, maybe they'd put fish on there and cut them up and all that good stuff, but I, I don't know about that, so, um, yeah, these are the precursor lab props, so it should be really interesting to see when they add that in. So, um, to Trello, um, I was looking at this, and this pretty much tells us what the recent activity is on here, and so, like, the first one here is the Emperor Leviathan issues uh, about an hour ago. And then um, they have new trails set up for the Warper and Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon also apparently had clipping issues into the castle, so they fixed that. And this is where I'm getting the next update from. It says uh, B69 Dangerous Creatures slash Update. And it also says right here. So that's why I'm assuming that there really won't be much more put into the game for now until this update comes out. Um, it's generally w what has happened in the past, uh, like with the power nap update and the, um, prawn update. They've added a bunch of stuff, like with the prawn, they added the arms and the torpedoes and all that. They expanded the aurora, but there was the two or three rooms you couldn't get into, and then I think it was like three days later they announced the whole, like, aurora being expanded update, so... Um, there is all this, uh, but what really caught my attention is, and why I really do think that the update will be coming out fairly soon, is right here. Um, Michael moved plan potential layout for Twisty Bridges. Now, if you don't know what Twisty Bridges is, it was a biome, um, I don't even know if it was announced, but it has concept art. Right here, and um, it was a biome that we knew about for a while, but we were never sure if it was going to be in the game or not because it's early development, um, even here, ver very early in development biome. Um, so here is the concept art. Uh, it's pretty much all covered by these bridges. Uh, we don't know what kind of life is going to be in in them like you can see this guy he's not in the game but we don't know if he will be uh, but a misconception of this which actually says lower uh it's not going to be by the surface like it says here or it shows there so uh right here the future plans unlike what has been depicted in the concept art the twisty bridges will be located deep underwater serving as the entrance tunnel leading from the deep grand reef to the inactive lava zone so here is some prefabs for it uh nothing crazy and then there is actually this as well but from what this looks like this looks like it's on the surface so, I'm going to say I have, like, the top of the cave cut off. So, we'll see what that looks like. Um, that'd be really cool. I can't wait for this. I My main thing is I want to see, like, all the biomes, because there's quite a bunch of land that is still boring and blah. So, that is the twisty bridge thing that I noticed while looking on here that I'm super pumped about. And then another thing, which I'm not going to go completely into it but right here uh bare bones first playable story um if there's spoilers so if you don't want to know don't look uh the roar is 100 percent complete the sunbeam is 100 percent complete when i looked i saw this about i think it was a week ago this was at like 70 percent complete and then yeah there's the precursor gun there's the lost river all the different things of the story um the Emperor's Facility right here, it says, is complete as well, but it's only in the editor. So that is another thing that is making me think that this update is going to be coming out pretty shortly here. Um, so, yeah, and pretty much what it does is it just 
goes over some of the like commands and whatnot that they added in order for the story to progress. So like um, you get the signal crates, uh, you remove the escape pod signal terminal, replace with dive room terminal, um, hook up rocket base, communicate as spaceship blueprints, captain's log terminal, um, sunbeam, add radio signal to Kush Kush Bush escape pod. Um, one day after the Aurora explodes. Trigger initial radio message. And so, yeah, it's just a bunch of things like once this one thing happens and this will happen and so on. Um, just like here, play signal and precursor gun to point towards the Lost River base. And then the Lost River has to the Lava Castle. And then the Lava Castle to the Sea Emperor. So I'm not going to go over this. As you can see, there's quite a bit. There is the end game here. Um, climb up to the ladder slash elevator to the engine. Um, a usable dive hatch to teleport inside small room. When you enter it, you enter a tiny room with a ladder hovering over the ladder says launch spaceship. And then uh, when clicking the ladder, it plays super simple cut and plays countdown to launch. After 10 seconds of this audio, so you have won the game dialogue. The launch will be a cutscene, but without moving the camera. So the player can look around and so it works in VR. So pretty much the end game and then there's a bunch of general stuff and stretch goals i actually didn't look look at this um fix for terrain lod popping i don't know what that is so and then they show the activity so like i said there's a bunch of stuff if you want to look at it just look at the trello it is actually very easy to find it's right here second one down in the doing um and then for the update there is these Kyanite integration into the tech tree. Um, I think it's just like those green precursor orbs in the concept art we saw. I believe it's just a part to use for the crafting of the precursor guns or like the energy type stuff. Um, pretty much everything else is, ha is done or has been done. Um... Like temperature damage. This is pretty much this is everything that is done. So I think the main feature of the update will be the ghost rays, the this one as well, and then it'll be the sea dragon and the precursor bases with the sea emperor prison. Now generally with the updates, uh, they generally leave to they leave one thing out and then when they update it they add it like uh for the power nap one there was the sea treaders they were never in the game before the update and my assumption i would like to see uh that thing be the ghost leviathan because they do have the things on sketchfab from like a month ago actually i think it's three months ago so if we look here uh the ghost leviathan was added a month ago and the High poly was a month ago as well, and the Ghost Leviathan low poly was three weeks ago. So maybe my hope is that the Ghost Leviathan will be the like hidden update part of that because since it is named Dangerous Creatures, that would pretty much add the rest of the big monsters or creatures that. I'm aware of that will be existing in the game. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much everything. Um, what is confirmed and what I hope will happen. We'll see, though. The Ghost of Leviathan would be really cool. So, um, that's all I got for now. Like I said, uh, not much in game, but there is a lot going on behind the scenes. So,. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button to show your support. If you guys want to see future update videos of Subnautica that I will be doing, uh, please subscribe so that way you guys can see that. And thank you for everybody who has joined the channel. It means a lot. I'm super happy that all of you are here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And then... Our next concept art is actually 
uh, the Sea Emperor's eggs. Uh, from what I've been told is you get the cure from the juvenile Sea Emperors, and as you can see in the upper right, that is like the control.